as a good professor, I can never recommend only one. Um, there are a lot, and I won't begin by saying everyone should read my first book, The Literacy Myth. But um, I would refer people to my column in Book Talk in On Campus on October of 2012. There I mentioned um, my, the, the, most, the best recent historical novel, um, Graham Swiss Waterland. All undergraduates should, should also read E.P. Thompson's The Making of the English Working Class. English majors should also read Octavia Butler's um, really classic historical science fiction um, called Kindred. Um, I'm smiling first, and I, I hope Pablo won't edit it out completely the fact that my first reaction was to smile. Um, I'm reflecting on almost 40 years of, of, of teaching and answering the question. It's getting students' attention in the broadest possible sense and keeping it. Um, getting students to grasp the importance in the direct and indirect sense, and perhaps most important of all, seeing that the different pieces of their study which the university does its best to fragment should be connected and connected deeply. Many things. Um, they go back in some ways, in many ways in fact, to growing up in, in, in the 60s. The subjects I'm interested in, cities, education, literacy, children, families, um, interdisciplinary, um, scholarship as critical and a kind of constant dynamic between social criticism and scholarship in the best possible sense stem back to growing up in the 1960s, going to college in the late 60s, the kind of area I grew up in which was the fairly central area of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, my family and my, my own teachers, um, several of whom remain among my, my closest friends. I don't want to fall into that dichotomy, so I'm going to say the overachieving slacker. Both. Um, we could spend days dis describing interesting and going into that, I'm going to mention two that are really dramatically different. Um, three, um, the middle of Australia, a great red rock um, called Uluru, used to be called Ayers Ayer's Rock, but the Aborigines have taken it back to its native name. It's incredibly dramatic. Um, changes color all day long, different shades of red. Second would be Machu Picchu in Peru. Third um, was the moment of receiving an honorary PhD at a, a university in Sweden. Um, one of the most moving moments of my life. The Ohio State University is not the best school in the nation. The Ohio State University has the human resources to be a much better school than it is. Um, it has an incredible faculty and students don't make as much use of the faculty as they ought to. Um, too many of us sit in our offices and office hours without students. Um, students are busy, I know, but the students who knock on my door are too surprised that I'm quite happy to talk to them. 